Hey guys, how are you doing? So do you want to learn about Instagram? Hang around and I'll tell you what I know. My name is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. As far as Instagram goes, if you're not familiar with the platform at all, it's usually, I say like over 75% of the people using Instagram are um, probably younger than 35 years old. So if your your target market is um, younger generation, then by all means, this is the place to be. It's also great to get engagement because unlike Facebook, if you're not friends with somebody, if you put in certain hashtags, people can find you. Now, honestly, of all the platforms that I've worked with, I think this is the, one of the hardest to master. Everything seems to be images. You have to look good. So you have to portray like your life is perfect. Now, people will say that's changing, but by and large, I still find, that's my own personal feeling, that the, the posts that get the most um traffic seems to be the ones that you know either professional photography or they took 10 or 20 different shots just to get the perfect shot so if you have that type of lifestyle where you can go around with your camera and people can take pictures of you excellent you know maybe Instagram is a place for you there's all different apps out there such as Snapseed or Over or Lightroom they can make the images look better so that's something to consider and as far as getting engagement, you have to post at least twice a week. You have to be visible. For those accounts that aren't visible, people just unfollow you. That's just how it is. Now, as far as getting people to follow you, you can start off with family and friends. Um, you know, if you're, if Facebook owns Instagram, right? So they're, they're able to help you initially as far as finding your friends on Instagram. And then from there, what you can do is if, say for instance, you do health and fitness, so you may want to um, look at the health, the hashtag health. On Instagram, they use hashtags. And you can, I think, go up to, I don't know the exact number, but it's about 30. So with your posts, you definitely should be putting in hashtags and use as many as you can that pertains to what you're doing. You also want to use hashtags that don't have a million, you know, um, uh, how do I say it? Like it's been used a million times. Look for those hashtags that are used 2,000 times or even a thousand times because those are what those ones are easily found now when you on Instagram there's ways to see most recent posts of a hashtag and also the top posts so as far as you finding your potential target market you pick out a couple of hashtags that you think are relevant and then you can just go on and search it and then not look at the top post because usually those um, those ones have a lot of followers but look below if you see that people have like two or three, um, there, there'll be hearts, which means likes. You can start looking, you know, open up that account and see, you know, what they're posting about. You can comment and engage. And over time, if this is done on a regular basis, you will build your Instagram following without a doubt. It's a great way to increase engagement with a totally cold market. And that's why people like Instagram so much, because if you do do it and you do put the time in, it does pay off. Unlike another platform such as Pinterest where you just kind of go and pin and nobody really comments, Instagram is a lot more work. So you want the pictures to look pretty. As far as what you post, most people tend to do paragraphs. If you look at the ones that have the majority of the, like the followers, most of them will sort of tell a story. So you may not want to type it all on your phone, but what you could do is in your notes, if you have an iPhone, I'm sure Android has something similar, you can just dictate it, do a few different paragraphs, and then what you could do is cut and paste into the post. And the same thing with the hashtags. You know, make sure some people will store hashtags in their, their notes. You don't want to use the same ones over and over again because I think that um, Instagram will kind of penalize you for that. So make sure that you're changing them up. Make sure you're searching out the keywords, like the hashtags. And when you find other people, even in those top posts, see what hashtags they're using because that will help you, you know, determine what hashtags you need to use and what you should be using. And like I mentioned, you don't want to use the same ones over and over again, so you'll get different ideas by looking at different posts. So as far as um, getting followers, a lot of times, and I'll just be honest, um, Instagram is another platform that's interesting. You know, you can like someone, be friends with somebody on Facebook, and they don't, um, they don't go unfriending you unless they're not happy with what you're posting. With Instagram, it's all about numbers. People seem to be like, I have to have so many more followers and people that I'm following. So they'll do the quick follow to get you to follow and then unfollow. So there are apps out there, apps that you can put on your phone, such as followers is the biggest one that I know. There's followers pro. There's so many of them. But the bottom line is they'll tell you who's unfollowing you. 
So if you want to check in once or twice a week and see, you know, somebody that you've engaged with that they followed and you followed back and all of a sudden they've unfollowed you, it's not a big deal. It's just something that Instagram follow, you know, Instagram users do, especially the ones that are looking to get, um, you know, to be an influencer status. It's one of the things that brands look at. They want to look at your numbers and how many followers you have compared to how many people you're following. So that's part of the reason why people are doing that. So don't take it personal. That's just how it is. But you can get an app simply like followers and determine, you know, who's following you. And if you know you're getting something out of your account, like you like their posts and you're learning something from it, or just to have an interest, great, keep them. But if you're not, then just delete them and keep on going. So that's pretty much Instagram in a nutshell. Pretty pictures, long posts, definitely engagement. When people, when you do a post and people comment like right away, um, like they, you should get back within an hour or so. And that's something else that Instagram will look at. They don't want to go have your posts go unnoticed. So that's something else you definitely want to spend time with engagement. And remember, if you're going to be on it, this is one platform that you definitely need to spend some time or you're going to hire a marketer to do your social media on Instagram. So pretty pictures, long paragraphs, engagement, posting twice a week. Now there's also other things that you could do such as stories. And um, so you may want to just do put twice a week on the account itself. So when you're scrolling, you'll see it. But a lot of people like stories too. Stories is a quick picture, like what you're eating, how you're working out, a lifestyle picture. And then, you know, you can do some text in there. And the other thing that you should be aware of is IGTV. If you don't have over 10,000 followers, I believe you can do an IGTV, which is a video just like this. If I keep it under 10 minutes, which right now it's like, um, just about seven minutes, I can then upload it to IGTV so that people can see it. Anybody can see it. And I'm going to title it right with good keywords. I'm going to do a good description and I'm going to use hashtags so that hopefully somebody will be searching it and they'll see my video. So that's another great way to get engagement. Remember, post twice a day, twice a, a week. Do the engagement with other posts. It's so important that, you know, not just post your stuff and keep going. You're going to lose followers that way or not gain any followers. And then use things like stories and um, also the IGTV until you hit those 10,000 followers, which is definitely a lot of work, but you can do it if you're persistent with it. So again, if your target market is under 35, you should definitely be looking into it. There are definitely are people older than it, uh, older than 35 on it. I'm going to be 52 in October. I'm on it, but um, it's a good thing for businesses. So you're going to find, you, know, you can even make like business to business relationships with it. And what else can I tell you? That's pretty much it in a nutshell. So if you like this summary, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I want to talk everything about online presence, increasing your online presence. It's so important for businesses to be online, and this is something that I specialize in. So if you're looking for business tools or some advice on increasing your online presence, do me a favor, check out the information below in the description, and I will see you guys on another channel, um, another video. All right, bye. Have a great day.